say this book is a really nicely illustrated book. Now, the poem Chris is going to read is called The Cuckoo, and uh, Chris tends to write about wildlife and nature, so it's a typical example of his work. Um, the book is called Eternal Wonder, and it's available online. Here's Chris, and a poem called The Cuckoo. The Cuckoo calls for all to hear, but no one knows if far or near. Enchanting tones from all around just echo back and then rebound. For in England's springtime woodlands green, the cuckoo's heard but seldom seen. Those reassuring notes to charm should instead for some birds cause alarm. For the cuckoo is like no other bird, a dark secret she has not all have heard. Silently she waits by the warbler's nest, who is unaware of her covert guest. The coast is clear, the egg is laid, unnoticed in this daylight raid. The cuckoo soon outgrows his sibling chicks, ere long there's only two from six. The rest are sent to soggy graves, adopted parents, now his slaves. What monstrous twist of fate is this, that nature does not think amiss, to allow the cuckoo's murderous ways as this world continues to amaze.